today marks five days until the end of the season. And for most professionals in the United States, that means that it's just beginning. Hey Jonah, how are you doing? Good, good. So just going on test flight on my phone and then do I say, re is there like a redeem code? No apps available to test. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> no chance across the world. Okay. And then I'll just let you know as soon as one of them comes through. <laughs> sounds good. And so what is the admin part kind of, in, like what does that mean, I guess, from a practical perspective? What do you need from the actionable items? All right, so one of the reasons why it's so chaotic and why it is one of the most stressful times of the year is because most American soccer players who are in the pro game don't have contract security for a second year unless they've been with the club for a little while. Things just get absolutely bananas. So for somebody like me who's played at two professional clubs in the last 12 months, I can tell you having a wife, having a whole family life outside of football and businesses, it's pretty stressful. And one of the things that I want to do today is talk to a couple of my teammates about how they deal with that kind of stress. And then I'll share my thoughts a little bit later. my first off season yeah like first year pro so it's new to me so it's like just keep grinding and get ready for next season you know awesome so keep going i think because i've done it now for so many years where i haven't had um a concrete plan going into the next year mm -hmm. um i just try to always like stay relatively close to match fitness yeah so like never allowing myself to take too much time off where if I have something like an event or trial in yeah. two weeks that I can't get, you know, in good shape for that to be able to play a lot of side. Do you feel nervous at all about finding a new team? No, because, it, no, because again, like I've been in situations where I've had less um, success from previous seasons and been able to like network and get myself opportunities. And I think Fair enough. if you're willing to take like, you know, any opportunity, then you'll find something that's more just about what you're willing to go for. It definitely, um, some nerves do pop up, yeah. for sure. But uh, I just try to stay consistent in my training. Yeah. And just know that you do the right things every day. Yeah. You know, something will pop up. Jay, how are you? That's really it. Well, usually every off season, yeah, I struggle, you know, I want to find teams and yeah. stuff, you know. But um, this year is, is a bit different. You know, Fair enough. You know, uh, at the end of the day, an agent is important. Yeah. For uh, getting teams and all that stuff and yeah. staying fit always, you know, so. Cool. Yeah, so. Awesome, man. <laughs> you know, um, I just really use it as time to first spend with my family. Yeah. Because, I mean, we don't really get to spend a lot of time with our families. Yeah. As we're away chasing our dreams, but. Um, I just self improvement. I think of self improvement as well. Yeah. Um, getting better on things that I noticed like I wasn't so good at this year, or just sharpening up my game. Yeah. Uh, mentally, physically. Um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really get nervous because whatever will happen will happen. Yeah. So I know I'll end up where I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah. Uh, regardless. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I appreciate it. Real. Thank you. So I guess it kind of depends on who you are and what your situation is like, what your experience is like, especially for the first year guys having not really much experience in the off season idea and stress. And I'm gonna put together a list of things and show you guys what I do in order to navigate some of that stress. So one of the ways to navigate some of the stress of off season and make is making sure that the nutrition side of things is locked in. That was something that I believe Q mentioned in his little blurb earlier today. So chicken salad, some shredded potatoes and making sure you have high protein, high carb, put some fats here and there, as long as they're healthy fats, making sure that's all dialed in for these off season periods is really, really important when you're looking at getting to the next level and progressing and optimizing your body. So one of the other things that this off season is gonna be great for is removing the bullshit in the trash from the, uh, as for searching for a trash can, is to remove the trash from both my training habits, my personality, my diet, and social stuff as well. Put it together and really optimizing my body and my health. <laughs> we survived the last time. And of course, you gotta stop by the shoes. This is an application for travel document for a US citizen and immigration service green card for that wonderful lady over there. Take care of your family, folks. And in spirit of filing all the paperwork, the second thing that I would recommend you guys do for off-season anxiety is spending time with friends and family. That stuff is super important and would definitely invest time and money into that if you can. The last thing that I wanted to speak about is the soccer piece of it, is I'm gonna network like a motherfucker as many connections as I can through my agents at OPSM, networks and emails, cold call, talk to people who know people in the space and really just get it done. If you're worried about the off season and what's gonna happen for you next year, my biggest thing is to take care of your body, to decompress a little bit and see family and friends who are close to you and then network like crazy and do everything you possibly can to get forward. That's it for the video guys. Thanks so much for joining me today for this wonderful video. Like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.